So the next one is comes from a person with uh, degenerative disc disease. So I do get emails about this from my subscribers. Um, and they're, again, they look at, they try to get advice from me and I can't give professional advice, right? I'm not an industry expert, but I know they've tried things like um, creatine to try to keep the water in the disc and uh, different stretches, different, whatever it may be. Um, do you have movements that would maybe help preserve discs and kind of limit the wear and tear? Yeah. So again, I'm not a medical professional, but right. from what I've seen and the people that I've worked with, degenerative disc disease is due to a lack of space between the vertebrae. So our vertebrae sit here and they are supposed to have this little bit of space mm -hmm. for moving in three dimensions. But what we see with people whose discs are breaking down, herniations, degeneration, is their movement patterns are actually promoting a lack of space. And that's the third pillar of our program of pain-free human movement is joint access or space. So how we go about that is by helping people return to their natural alignment, gain that muscular tension that actually promotes space in the joints, and then eventually we'll gain that space and those joints or those discs will last longer, right? If they're already de degenerating, there's not much you can do to bring them back to their, their normal state. But what we can do is increase longevity of them right. by stopping the, the damage that's being done right now, uh, stopping the bleeding, per se. Right. 